Gather close that you might hearken the story of Fat Neil. Born stout of heart but large of bone, his adolescent years were shadowed by scorn and mockery. Outlets of fantasy afforded him some escape from the darkness throughout high school. And as a man, he traveled far to a new school and a new beginning. Or so he thought. They're down there by Fat Neil. Fat Neil. The name became a joke. <laughs> what Fat Neil's having. <laughs> the joke became his life. Uh, yes, Fat Neil. And Neil fell again into darkness. Only this time his thoughts turned to an escape of which we dare not speak. But pain need not be spoken to be known. Not to all. It was, strangely, Jeff, the liar, son of William the barely known, who first became concerned. Neil. It was Jeff who pretended to be interested in Dungeons and Dragons, in an effort to lift Neil's spirits. And when Jeff's fake interest resulted in Neil giving Jeff all his books explaining he wouldn't need them anymore. It was Annie, the day planner, herself a recovering headcase, that recognized the signs of coming doom. A council was called. Troy, the obtuse. <laughs> Shirley, the cloying. Abed, the undiagnosable. Julian Assange is a Britta, the needlessly defiant. For reasons that should be obvious, Pierce the insensitive, known also as Pierce the dickish, and Grandpa the flatulent, was not invited. The group agreed that what Fat Neil needed most was to feel like a winner for a change. They would invite Neil that Saturday to a game of Dungeons and Dragons designed by Obed to help Neil reclaim his confidence. For Neil. At the end of the meeting, they realized that Chang had been there and felt too awkward to mention it. What they couldn't have known was that they had just scheduled the most important game of Dungeons and Dragons ever. A game which not only might save a life, but which would forever change the balance between good and pierce.